Today in Exodus 38, we read again about Bezalel and Oholiab, two of the most famous names in the whole Bible, right? Of course not. They weren't priests or prophets or apostles. They were just two guys who worked with their hands to construct and furnish the tabernacle just as the Lord had commanded. Let's take a look at verses 22 and 23. Bezalel, son of Uri, grandson of Hur of the tribe of Judah, made everything just as the Lord had commanded Moses. He was assisted by Oholiab, son of Ahisamach of the tribe of Dan, a craftsman expert at engraving, designing, and embroidering with blue, purple, and scarlet thread on fine linen cloth. Check it out. When God gave Moses a God-sized task, Moses showed himself as a great leader in the building of the tabernacle. And listen, we too have the opportunity to lead in our families, our jobs, and our churches. We're all called to build something great. Now we're not constructing a building, but by sharing the good news that Jesus paid for our sin, we're building the church. So what lessons can we learn from Moses' leadership as we carry out our God-sized task? Well, the first lesson is simple follow God's instructions. Moses followed a very particular pattern to make the tabernacle that God wanted. He called in the people that God asked him to call. He used the materials that God asked him to use. He made each piece the size that God required. Here's the deal. God will lead us in the details, but we need to make sure that we listen as he leads. Next, we see that Moses understood this job was way too big for him. He recognized the weight of the task, so he didn't kill himself trying to do all the work by himself. Sensitive to God's direction, Moses brought other people in. Listen, we're responsible to follow through when God asks us to do something, but sometimes God's plans are too big to carry alone. We need to seek the prayers and the support and the advice and often the physical work of others to finish well realizing and using their gifts. After all, the Bible compares the church to a body, each part having a specific role which causes the body to function as it should. Moses, he solicited the help of weavers and embroiderers and designers. He recognized the importance of using people's God-given gifts. Moses took all God had given him, the directions and understanding, and he shared it with those helping. He encouraged them to give to the tabernacle by sharing their wealth and sharing their skills. He clearly communicated what God wanted. And perhaps this is the most important part of leadership, the ability and the willingness to share the passion and the specifics that God has given us. Listen, God is always calling us to do something or grow in some area or respond in some way. Right now, some of us know exactly what God is asking us to do, and we're just not being obedient. Here, in chapter 38, we see that God spoke through Moses pretty clearly. But Bezalel and Oholiab, they could have said no. So what is your yes? What is your here I am, Lord, send me? What will it take for you to recognize the gifts that God has given you and to use them for him? And who could you bring in to help accomplish what God has placed on your heart?